Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. It's great to have you here. So uh, today we're looking at the first part of the Polar Printer build. So if you do like my channel, please do subscribe. Helps other people find the channel and uh, generally helps me along. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, it helps other people find my videos and uh, shows them that you like the content. And uh, if you want to be notified when uh, uh, my videos get released, then hit that bell. So um, basically I bought a load of steel and uh, these uh, next few minutes are just uh, looking at some machining, uh, how I've marked out the parts and basically gone around and uh, drilled all the steel. I worked out with a colleague at work, I've drilled something like 20 odd millimetres of, or 200 millimetres of steel or something like that in the last few days. As you can see, um, some of the holes have been drilled and tapped. I quite like using these, um, I don't know, tap guides, I suppose you call them. Uh, it basically goes in the drill chuck and uh, I line it all up and that uh, holds the tap in place. So I get nice straight holes and less chance of breaking the tap. The other thing that I do that helps me not break the taps is I like to uh, frequently clean the tap off and lubricate the thread cutting. So as you can see, you get a load of um, uh, swarf, I suppose, on the tap. So I clean that off with a little wire brush and lube it obviously as well. And basically that swarf builds up and the tap starts to jam. So you need to clear that on a regular basis. Um, and doing that, I can get tap full depth holes, uh, blind holes as well. Uh, I'm also, uh, these uh, drills that I'm using are good quality drills. I think uh, I got them off eBay, but they're effectively end of stock. And uh, what you also saw me, saw me doing there was whenever I drill a hole, I immediately get the deburr tool in there and take the burrs off so I don't catch myself on a burr or the burrs don't catch when I'm putting bolts in and out. Uh, so these are uh, bigger holes again. Uh, these are to, uh, I think these are to hold the um, U-bolts. Uh, as you might have saw a minute ago there, I was just um, marking out where those holes are for the U-bolts. And this is the back plate, so uh, there you go. So there's the U-bolts going in. Then we've got the uh, two large plates, uh, top and bottom, and those need drilling to hold the legs at a 60 degree angle. So um, none of this is uh, CNC machined, obviously. It's all manually done, because uh, this is a prototype and I want to just allow it to move and see how it comes together, really. Um, this is kind of true to the original design concept. It's not true to the design um, dimensions in the CAD, but this is more a prototype and experiment to try and see if this sort of design and build will work. So uh, again, just going through using good quality um, drills. Uh, I've had to swap back to a more expensive stubby drill from this milling machine just because of the uh, reach or the throat of the my drill press and just didn't quite work for drilling those legs and so now as you can see we're just all starting to get everything assembled get all those holes drilled and just mock it all up and then the last thing i needed to do was uh, drill the uh, legs themselves um, for the feet and that was uh, another even bigger drill I had to use. Uh, you might notice I had to space it up off the bottom of the drill press just to get that all to come together. And now we're just uh, using some bolts uh, to bolt everything up and get everything aligned and uh, pull all that together. Um, just getting those last few bolts into the tapped holes on the, uh, I suppose that's the, I don't know what you'd call it really, the back plate. That's the plate that um, picks up the U-bolts. Just go through and uh, get all that tightened up and that seemed to work quite well. So now we've got to uh, drop in the steel column. As you can see, it's a bit of a beast. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, those U-bolts took a while to get in, but uh, once they're in, just uh, a couple of nylock bolts. And again, this all needs tweaking, but as first general assembly, it doesn't look too bad. Leveling the feet up and there we go. So, after an afternoon's grafting, um, we have a frame. <laughs> um, just to give you an idea of how it's going to look. Um, the rails will go there, the radial axis will go there. Um, 
and then obviously the print head will come out here and there'll be a big spinny thing down here. So we will see whether I'm mad or this is actually going to work. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, you never know, I might see you again next time. For the record, this is really heavy. So on that note, thanks for watching guys. Um, you know, if you do like my stuff, please do consider subscribing to the channel, have a look at my website, or if you fancy seeing some more of my stuff, check out the videos that have popped up now. So thanks again for watching, much appreciated. See you again next time. Cheers.